Dobrodiena! So in this episode I will be building a cyclorama. And yeah, you are right, I'm not in my workshop, but I'm not that far away. My workshop is literally behind that wall. But first of all, let me explain what cyclorama is. So it's a dedicated area for uh, videography or photography where you have a seamless transition between the floors to the wall, also from one wall to another wall. Simply put, it's just a curve between two surfaces uh, which creates no shadows. So you would have less work in post-production. First of all, let me undo this drywall and then I'll explain what was going on until this point. Okay, so long story short, about two weeks ago, uh, my new neighbors approached me with a request to build them cyclorama. I agreed, yet I was still uh, busy with other works. And the other contractor had to start building those other walls, so I quickly threw this uh, wooden frame so I would have structure to start building that curvature. And once I was done with the wooden frame, I asked the contractor to start building the wall from this, from this frame upwards. In other words, uh, those uh, drywall sheets should have started from here and went all the way up. But some miscommunication occurred and you saw how it ended up. And to be exact, I will lift the wall up till this point. I'm done for now with that wall and the next step will be to build the same kind of structure on that side. But it's rather late already and I think the wise decision would be to get some rest and start building this wall tomorrow in the morning. See you then. So yesterday was rather short but very productive day. I got most of the framing done and today I'm planning to put on the drywall in place. But first of all, first of all, I have to prepare the wooden frame for this uh, corner bend. And if everything goes smoothly, I hope to finish the day with complete frame between these two walls.
I'm back to my workshop because I have to prepare material for those uh, curved frames. And let me explain my idea on the whiteboard. So I bought a few sheets of plywood and my idea is to divide it in four equal uh, squares and then uh, cut curves on each corner. So this way I would be able to make eight curved pieces out of one sheet of plywood. So I will start by making a template piece with the router and this circle cutting jig. Then I will rough cut all the other pieces and use the template uh, on the spindle motor to precisely copy the pieces.
It's the middle of the next day and I can conclude that my yesterday's plan was a bit too optimistic. But I have all the parts prepped and I guess let's see how they fit together. So today I'm in rather unusual outfit, well, at least for me. And that's for a very good reason, because I have to start plastering the walls. So that means I will have to go up and down the ladders all day long. And comfortable outfit matters in this case. Plus, probably this process will get a bit messy. And if you are wondering why don't I finish the lower curve, it's because if I do that, uh, finishing the walls will be very inconvenient. I already primed the walls earlier this day, so I guess let's make some plaster. So far so good, but I can already tell that making that corner smooth will take a while. Anyhow, thank you for being with me and hope to see you soon. Bye bye.